If you want to believe in magic, in beauty, in friendship, and freedom, believe in the Black Stallion. The biggest, the blackest, and the strongest, the most beautiful horse that ever was. Francis Ford Coppola presents Walter Farley's timeless classic, Whose Time Has Come, The Black Stallion. The story of a legendary horse who could only be tamed by a young boy's love. Together, they survive a shipwreck. And the dangers of an island wilderness. You saved my life. They meet a forgotten man. He'll be moving, he'll be making that rhythm. You just go on with him, see. Who helps them bring a legend to life. Tyson Horse that defies the imagination, that runs like a demon possessed, that speeds beyond belief. He could be the greatest sensation in racing history. Black Stallion, an unforgettable adventure, a motion picture of extraordinary beauty, a story that will make your heart race, your spirit soar, but most of all, it will make you believe in the Black Stallion. Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to another movie review. Two movie reviews on the same day today. If you guys haven't checked out my previous video, I did a movie review on Super 8. So if you guys haven't checked out my review of that, definitely give it a watch. Really enjoyed uh, Super 8. You know, it was a fun uh, rewatch of the film. But I'm back with another movie review, and this time. It's a review of The Black Stallion, which came out in 1979. And the film stars Ke Kelly Reno, Terry Garr, Clarence Moose, Hoyt Axton, Michael Higgins, and the late great Mickey Rooney. Now, the film is based off of the novel of the same name, The Black Stallion, by Walter Farley. And the film was directed by Cal Ballard. And the film was written by Melissa Matheson, who, of course, will later on write E.T., The Extraterrestrial, for Steven Spielberg. And it was co-written uh, also by uh, Jeannie Rosenberg and William D. Whitliffe. And the film was uh, produced by Francis Ford Coppola, which originally... He was going to direct the film, but unfortunately, since he was busy with other projects and he was working on Apocalypse Now, he only uh, produced the film and he gave uh, the directing shot to Carol Ballard. And The Black Stallion, I watched this for the first time and what a beautiful movie this is. This is a masterpiece of a film with great acting, a great story, great cinematography done by Caleb Deschanel, to which he should have been nominated for an Oscar uh, for his uh, cinematography here, but unfortunately he wasn't uh, nominated. Uh, Mickey Rooney was uh, nominated for uh, Best Actor, Best, Best Actor in a Supporting Role, Basically, what the film is about is it takes place in 1946, and Alec Ramsey was played by Kelly Reno. He's on this ship with these other people, and also his father, who was played by Hoyt Axton. And Hoyt Axton, you all know him as uh, Randall Peltzer in Gremlins. Of course, his character was the father to Zach Galligan's character, uh, Billy, in the first Gremlins film. And... While Kelly Reno's character, Alec, is on the ship, he sees uh, this black stallion that 
was being forced into a makeshift stable. And one night there is this storm, this big storm, and you know, water ends up uh, again on the ship. The ship is engulfed in flames. And Hoyt Axon's uh, character, Alex's father, ends up saving uh, these people on uh, the ship. And Kelly Reno's character, Alec, gets thrown overboard by the waves. And this black stallion horse ends up uh, saving him. And we then see uh, Alec, Kelly Reno's character, wakes up on this uh, island. And he starts to explore the island. He sees that the horse is on the island with him. And basically, uh, Kelly Reno's character and the horse end up bonding through the film. And then uh, later on, he is brought back home. We see uh, Kelly Reno's uh, character, Alec, and also his mother. His mother is played by Terry Gar. And pretty much, Kelly Reno's character ends up meeting uh, Mickey Rooney's character, Henry Daly, who is a, a retired racehorse jockey. And so basically, Mickey Rooney becomes a mentor to uh, Kelly Reno and having to train uh, Kelly Reno, you know, for a, a horse race. You know, they go on the racetrack and, you know, he says, oh, I have the, uh, the fastest horse, you know, here. So pretty much that's basically what the plot of the film is about. And they're just trying to get uh, the horse into entering uh, this race. And they dubbed uh, the horse the uh, the mystery horse. So but basically that's what the plot to the film is about. Kelly Reno as Alec Ramsey. He did a fantastic job in the role. Just a good uh, child character. And he also did his own uh, riding and stunt work in the film. The only thing that I heard that he didn't do was uh, the riding in the uh, racing scene at the end of the film. But just a good uh, child character Alec Ramsey is. Mickey Rooney, the late great Mickey Rooney as Henry Daly. Fantastic uh, job that Mickey Rooney uh, did. And of course... He was nominated for uh, Best Actor in a supporting role uh, for the film, but unfortunately he didn't win. Just a very uh, good, fantastic performance from uh, Mickey Rooney. Got Terry Garr in there, which uh, she did a good job. And just the uh, cinematography by uh, Caleb Deschanel, just absolutely fantastic, very well done. The scenes on the island were just greatly filmed. Like you see, uh, you know, uh, Kelly Reno's character, you know, underwater, how he's getting the seaweed, you know, to eat. And, you know, it's pretty much, you know, after the, uh, he gets uh, thrown off the ship, he goes overboard by the waves and he's on the island. You feel bad for uh, the, uh, the character. You know, this is a kid that, is on an island, you know, by himself and with a horse, and he's managing to survive on the island. So, and you got scenes of Kelly Reno and Ryan the other uh, horse, which great shots of uh, that, very fantastic. Uh, you got also uh, scenes of uh, the sunsets which was very well shot and also one scene where with the moon there and you know just rocks you know cliff you know just very greatly filmed very wonderfully shot and it also focuses on the uh, small statue of Bullisphilus I think that's how you pronounce the name of uh, the horse and Hoyt Axon's character ends up giving you know, Kelly Reno, that small statue of the horse, and also a pocket knife. And so White Axon ends up telling the story to Alec of how Alexander the Great became the master for 
Bliss, Bliss, I think that's how you pronounce uh, the horse's name. So pretty much basically focuses on that. And Kelly Reno has, you know, the small statue of that, you know, throughout the, uh, the film. But The Black Stallion, wonderful film uh, this is. It's a masterpiece. It's a great uh, children's film. And if you guys haven't seen it, would highly, highly recommend it. It's just a fantastic, great, wonderfully shot, beautiful film. And some bits of trivia here. Uh, the film was shelved for two years by United Artists when it was completed. Cal Ballard, the director, recalled the studio suits complaining. And the studio suits were like, is this some kind of an art film for kids? And basically, yeah, when you watch the film, it is kind of an art film for kids. And then, you know, when they said that, it took Francis Ford Coppola to finally get the film released and have his name on there. So it said that the black uh, was portrayed by a champion Arabian stallion from Texas named Cass Olay. His friend, the all-white horse named Napoleon, was portrayed by Junior, who had previously appeared in National Lampoon's Animal House as Trooper, Nita Meyer's horse. And also, uh, once after uh, the ship you know, sinks, there is a stretch of 28 minutes of no dialogue. No dialogue was spoken after the uh, wrecking of the ship. So it's basically Kelly Reno on the island, and he's exploring the island. He sees the horse, you know, there. And it's just, you know, basically that stretch of the movie with no dialogue. But overall, The Black Stallion, beautiful film. Love it. Highly recommend the film if you guys haven't seen it. I know that they did a uh, sequel called uh, The Black Stallion Returns, which uh, has uh, Kelly Reno return in, and also Tell Terry Gar returns as well. But just a beautiful, great film, The Black Stallion is. Highly recommend the film if you guys haven't seen it. But anyways, that's it for my review of The Black Stallion. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Definitely give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check out my review of Super 8 if you guys haven't seen it. And I will see you all on Monday with my Monday Night Raw review. So until then, see you all on Monday.